Ladies and gentlemen, chemistry students, today's uh, lesson is on an idea called significant figures, uh, which we will um, also call significant, um, or sig figs sometimes, and sometimes we call it significant digits. Um, they're used interchangeably. But it's a really important concept in chemistry, and so let's, let's talk real quickly about what, um, what our definition is, is here. And so, definition is a significant figure um, of a number are the digits that carry meaning um, that contribute to its precision. So um, we're talking about precision um, in, let's say, measuring mass, precision in measuring volume, which we would do in chemistry quite often. Um, so I, we're going to go through the rules here. They might not make a lot of sense to start off with, with the reasons why, but we'll talk more and more and more about why we use significant figures or sig figs in chemistry when we're doing calculations, which is coming soon here once we get into ideas called the mole. Um, so here's the rules, and you should be jotting these rules down. So rule number one, all digits that are not zeros we consider significant. And so, let's scroll down a little bit here, I'll give you an example here. So if we have a number, like let's say we took the mass of um, an object on uh, our balance, and it was 25.3, um, we could say that every one of these, these um, digits, the 2, the 5, and the 3, are not zeros. So if they are not zeros, what that means is we would say that here we have three significant figures, or sig figs, three sig figs. So anytime we have values that are not zeros, they're automatically significant, and we count them um, once again to determine our precision in calculations. Okay, so that's the, the only rule that deals with um, values that are not zero. All the rest of the rules pretty much deal with um, uh, values that are zeros. So the next rule, rule number two, make sure you're jotting this down. Zeros that are captured between non-zeros, these are definitely significant. And so I'll give you, give you a couple examples here of a, num a zero that's captured. Let's say you measured out 101 milliliters of um, a solution that you needed to use in a lab. Um, used a graduated cylinder to do that. Um, we know from the previous rule that the 1 and the 1 are both significant, so there's at least two significant figures in this, um, this measurement. It turns out that if, if a 0 is captured or sandwiched in between non-zeros, it's, it's counted as significant as well, and so we would say that this value has, again, three sig figs. Um, to give you another example here, um, we might have a, a value like this. Let's say we have 2.05 grams measured on a balance. Um, there is a decimal involved here, but we're going to ignore that decimal for right now. And, um, and the 2, of course, is significant. The 5 is significant. It's still sandwiched. And so, again, we're going to have three sig figs here. And it just so happens that everything's been three sig figs so far. It won't always be three sig figs. Okay, so that's rule number two. We have rule number three now. And rule number three is trailing zeros to the right of the decimal are significant. They indicate precision of a measurement. And and give you an example here. Um, if we had a... a Pretty precise balance. We could measure out 25.30 grams of something. So the first rule again is going to apply here. Um, and the two we know, the five we know, and the three we know are all significant um, because this zero is trailing. It's at the end, and because it's to the right of the decimal, and it is to the right of the decimal and trailing, we say that it is significant. It it, um, it is counted. So this value would have four. Sig figs, four sig figs there. Okay. Um, likewise, we'll give you another example here too. If we had, let's say, um, 1.00 milliliters, again, we know that the, the one is significant. These zeros are trailing and they are to the right of the decimal, so they also count too. And so we would count those, and that would be three sig figs. Our next rule, 
rule number four, which is the, the kind of the toughest rule for students to deal with, is, is leading zeros. These are just placeholders. They are not significant. So in very small values, let's say we have a value of 0 0.0025 grams, real precise uh, balance we have there. Um, leading zeros. So we know that the two, the two, and we know that the five are significant because um, they're not zeros. And these zeros, even though they are to the right of the decimal, they're leading, meaning they're in front of the two and the five. Those guys are leading. So we don't count them. So this value would just have two sig figs. And a way we could get around this is if we wanted to, we could put this into scientific notation. So if we put this into scientific notation correctly, it would be 2.5 times 10 to the negative third grams, and that eliminates those leading zeros, and now we don't have to worry about them. And when we are doing or significant figures for scientific notation, we only count these values here. We don't worry about the 10 to the negative third with respect to counting sig figs. We still have to write it, but we don't use it um, as a determination of number of sig figs. Um, another one, this is the our very last one, it's kind of an easy one, um, and is if you actually count something, let's say we're counting the number of bubbles produced um, per minute in a chemical reaction, um, or we have an equality these have unlimited number of sig figs, and we don't use these. Um, I, I, I wrote we don't use these in calculations. We do use these in calculations. We don't count them as far as sig figs in calculations. So I'll give you an example. Let's say we have a measurement of, or, or e an equality. An equality is anything when two values are equal to each other. So let's say we have um, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Um, that would be considered an equality. or these are equalities, or maybe let's say um, one foot is equal to 12 inches, these are considered equalities. Um, when we have equalities, we don't look to um, this value or these values to determine our sig figs, we just kind of ignore them with respect to counting sig figs and we look for other, other ways to calculate sig figs and we'll get more into that um, very soon. Okay, so what does this all mean and have to do with you in chemistry? Well, here's what it means. Um, significant figures are used in calculations, and we're going to be doing calculations in here. Um, we always want to make sure we round um, to our least significant measurement. We need to round off. And just a super fast tutorial, we all know, in rounding, let's say you have a value of 1.6, and I asked you to round that off to one figure, you would round that off to 2. Or if you had the value of 1.49 and we wanted you to round we wanted you to round, let's say we're going to round here to two, two digits because this 9 is above 5 this would be rounded off to 1.5 if we were going to two digits. Okay, So we're always going to want to round. So here's a, here's a practical application of, of rounding. Um, and how we use this, and you're going to use this in your practice today. So it says, determine, calculate the density of a metal sample that has a mass of 12.4 grams and a volume of 20.3 milliliters. So the formula that we're going to use is density equals mass divided by volume, something that we did much earlier this year. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to determine, well, we're going to plug these values in. We'll do that in a moment. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to plug these values in, and so we have 12.04 grams, there's our mass, and over here we had our volume of 20.3 milliliters, and so this thing is, this is set up so that we can divide. Okay, so I, I punched this into my calculator, and I came up with a small number. I came up with 0.059310. Three, four, four, eight grams per milliliter. Okay, so we we have um, 
0.593103448 grams per milliliter, like I said. And these values, truthfully, are way too are way too precise for what we are um, what we are uh, measuring. And so our mass measurement in that case, that 12.04, that mass measurement is really three or excuse me, four significant figures and our, our volume measurement is three significant figures. So what we have to do is we need to round our answer off to three sig figs. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And so rounding this answer off to three sig figs would be um, 0.593 grams per milliliter. And that would be our answer there. And so let's go ahead and write that in here. It's point See if we can get this to, to draw. For some reason now my computer's decided it doesn't want to draw. And uh, that, that would be our answer there, 0 0.593. Okay, so there's going to be some practice problems that go along with this video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.